right, this is another installment for uh, our weekly pickup. Uh, got a message from a lady on uh, Kijiji saying to call her mom. She has a bunch of stuff to sell, so I called her up and we went out tonight and to see what she had. And uh, well, she was quite the uh, firecracker, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. <laughs> she uh, definitely a young blood in her. Um, anyway, she had about well exactly 49 games and. Uh, this NES cleaning kit, which I'm kind of excited to have, actually. So, uh, let's get on with the games we have. So, start with two empty cases. We got Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Uh, I haven't had a chance to clean any of these or test them. Um, Sky Shark. The Annex. I'm not sure. Uh, Defender of the Crown. Kind of excited for that one. Strider. Never even heard of it. Side Pocket. Mine. Hers. Dr. Mario. There's actually two or three of these in this set. One has a nicer label. We got Bump and Dump, Girl of War, this one needs to be cleaned up too. <laughs> Total Recall? Yep. Shit yeah. We got Total Recall with $5 price tag on it. Days of Thunder, um, hate to admit it, but one of my favorite movies when I was younger. I don't know why. Um, Rescue the Embassy Mission. Mm, fine. Apparently another one for Jazz, Shadow Gate. Breakthrough. Iron Tank. Now most of these labels are in excellent shape. Uh, here was one. Wheel of Fortune. Vanna White with the, in the original box. Vanna White. <laughs> All right, uh, little detour there. Anyway, back to the real Vanna White Wheel of Fortune game. Let's see what we got here. Ah, yeah, we don't need that. Just a little styrofoam. Game tech. Corn. The game. I don't think it was used too much. There's no scratches really on the contacts. Nope. Oh my god, that's so mine. An autograph poster, Vanna White. It'd be awesome if it was a real autograph, but. That's badass. And of course, manual. Which. has some weird thing in it. I don't know. So there's that. What else we got here? A boy and his blob. Got two of these too, if anyone needs one. Top gun. Mine. Apparently here's two. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, first one. Legacy of the Wizard. Never actually heard of that. Kind of excited to play it up now. We got Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. There's two of these as well. A Yoshi. I have one of these in my collection, and I think there's another one in this set too. Super Mario Brothers 3. I think there was two more in this pickup, and I have two. Uh, Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. I think there's three of these, or four of these in this pickup, and I have two of them as well. 
Vegas Dreams. It's like a casino game. Might be fun. Right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 The Manhattan Project. Excited to play that. I don't think I've ever actually played that one. Um, an interesting case, one I haven't seen before. Um, Captain Comic. Black case. I'm excited to try that one out. Uh, Donkey Kong, the original arcade classic series. Another one of her games now. <laughs> really, they're all my games. Uh, we got Contra. I'm excited for that one myself. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. I don't know, not many people seem to like the uh, Castlevania series, but I quite enjoyed it. We got uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. I think there was two in this pickup as well. And I have one or two of them. We got Twin Cobra. That, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a dog chewed on the corner of the cart. Anyway, I imagine it still works. Most NES carts can take a beating and a half. Uh, we got Air Fortress with some permanent marker on there. I'll have to try and get off with some goo gun or something. Mechanized Attack. Never heard of it. Kind of looks interesting. So, excited to try that one out. Top Secret episode. Never heard of that either. Came in one of these nice little bright cases. So am I. <laughs> Another one of hers. Godzilla. It's kind of nice having a girlfriend that uh, plays video games because it uh, allows me to keep collecting them and I don't have to get rid of them. <laughs> and I can let her think that half of them are hers. Even though she paid for them. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Have that one as well. So that's possibly up for grabs. Adventure Island 2. I actually quite enjoyed playing this when I was little. The Guardian Legend. I do have one of these, so that'll probably be up for trades, or the second one, Castlevania 2, Sagan's Quest, double. We got Ghosts and Goblins, that should be fun to play. We got uh, Super C. And uh, Thunderbirds. And then, is there a stack of doubles over there? Yes. Let's just run through those quickly. Right. These are all the doubles that came. Mario 3, Mario 3, so that's three of them. Mario and Duck Hunt, another Dr. Mario, the other a boy in his blob, and yet, another Mario and Duck Hunt. And then on top of that we got... Two systems. This one's got a little uh, crack here. No big deal. No game inside. This one here looks in uh, well, pretty good shape. Dirty as shit though. A little crack there. Label's a little worn out. This was well used and no game in that one either. So, uh. Don't forget oh, that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Awesome and game holder. I don't know if this is actually a licensed Nintendo thing or someone stuck stickers on it, but it's a game holder. The games do fit in it with their black sleeves. The center side section sticks out a little bit. It's got blockers in the back. A little Nintendo sticker there. I don't know if someone knows better than me. It's got a sticker on the back that seems to match. See, it says made in Indonesia. So, I'm kind of actually excited for this, it's actually kind of falling apart, I'll have to uh, take some wood glue and maybe see if I can fix it up. But uh, that, was, that was our take, um, there's obviously four controllers and all the hookups and uh, duck hunt gun as well, and uh, I guess everyone wants to know what we paid for it, well, 100 bucks, so not too bad, uh, kind of happy with it. Uh, maybe make some good trades and uh, yeah
Thanks. And uh, and now you know that I'm not fake. Yeah, she's real. <laughs> I'm not just a liar. Um, went out today to Salvation Army. Picked up a uh, South Park Rally for 50 cents. Can't beat it. Kind of smells like a dog pissed on it. Something about the city and dogs pissing on video games and video game systems. Anyway, tomorrow is our uh, final day. We're heading out of town uh, to the big city and we're going to uh, stop at every place we can and uh, the little uh, gold mine we found for vintage gaming. So uh, Jasmine doesn't know this yet, but I'm uh, putting together a little uh, game hunter um, survival kit, I guess, uh, to keep us going through the day, overloaded with sugar and basically a whole ton of malnutrition. <laughs> So, uh, picked up a whole bunch of candy and stuff for, uh, half price. Halloween's over, so. Best in Florida, I haven't opened sour chili tubes for Moreheads. Love Moreheads. So she gets that. I'm going to keep guests one for each of us. Two packs of Pussy Peach. Two packs of Mayonnaise Gummies. Two packs of M&M Peanuts. Two packs of Swedish Berries. Two packs of Swedish Berries. Two packs of Sour Patch Kids. Three mini Aero Bars. things, get a Red Bull and uh, maybe a five hour energy shot and then we're, kids are done. So she doesn't know this and uh, she'll probably be pretty excited. She likes when I do stupid little things like that. So uh, I'll try and get that on video when uh, I pull it out and surprise her with our travel kit. So uh, stay tuned for this next clip of her opening it up. 